state police are asking you to contact them if you recognize this truck. This was the truck that a man was driving when he was critically injured in a separate shooting on the interstate yesterday afternoon. It happened on the east side near Shadeland Avenue. The man's family was in the car with him when this happened. Scary stuff. CBS 4's Brett Cass has more from the family who say the shots came out of nowhere. Well, police got the call that some debris had gone through a windshield and struck a driver. But when they got here, they found out that debris was actually a bullet that had been fired from someone's gun. A quick trip to pick up some tools quickly changed for Tiffany Wallace. When driving along I-465 with her boyfriend, Jason, she suddenly heard a boom. Jason was driving the truck and let's go of the wheel. So I go to grab the steering wheel to get control of the truck because we are going towards the traffic. With her three-year-old in the back seat, Wallace grabbed the steering wheel, got her foot on the brake, and got the car to the shoulder. She then saw Jason was injured, struggling to breathe. I did not even know what it was. All I know is when I lifted his neck to look to see what had happened, he was bleeding so bad and there was so much glass. I didn't know what happened. Still not knowing what happened, she pulled Jason out and started CPR. Once police arrived, they realized Jason had actually been shot in the neck. I could not tell you why this happened. I have no clue. I wish I could give you an answer, but I cannot. Wallace says the shooting was completely random. They had been in the same lane going normal speed with no issues. The bullet came from the rear driver's side window, and police believe multiple shots were fired at the car. Jason's friend is now putting out a $10,000 reward for information. Jason is the kind of person to give you a shirt off his back, you know, I mean, you, you need a place to stay, he's there for you, you need something to eat, he's, he, you know, he's got your back, I mean, just, I mean, I just don't know why someone would want to do something like this to such a great guy. Police say no arrests have been made yet. Wallace says Jason is still in the hospital on a ventilator. She hopes her partner of 17 years pulls through and the person responsible is put behind bars. I mean, they just injured an innocent man who's leaving five kids. We have five kids together. Somebody saw something, knows something, anything, just to come forward. Again, police are looking for any information that can lead to who is responsible. So if you were in this area on I-465 near Shadeland Avenue on Sunday at 2.45 p.m., you're asked to contact Indiana State Police. Reporting here on the east side, I'm Brett Cast, CBS 4 News. We hope they get answers soon. Well, now